The iPad just got a lot better at multitasking with iPadOS 26. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about using this new feature. Before I cover all the multitasking features, I just want you to make sure that when you go into settings on your iPad, and I'm just going to scroll down until you see multitasking and gestures, make sure you have windowed mode selected. This is a new mode. We always had full screen apps and stage manager before. So make sure this setting is turned on. You can also add this setting into control center so if you want to quickly switch between windowed apps having this on and maybe just having a regular full screen app on then you can just toggle that in your control center here so here you will see that little option so when i turn that off it's just gonna be full screen apps but when i turn that on windowed apps is now turned on as well if you don't have this setting in your control center you can just hold down into your control center until it goes into this little editing mode click on add a control it's going to be called multitasking so you can just search that and this is the option that should appear but yeah once we have that set up we can now go into all the multitasking features so when you open up an app it's going to open it up in full screen mode but what you will see that is new is this little toggle here in the bottom right hand corner so so you will be able to drag this to resize the window to the size that you want and the app will resize accordingly. So now that I have this app open in a windowed mode, I can also add apps to this. So I'm just gonna open up the files app that's right here on my dock and then it will open up a full screen. And again, I just drag this and to resize it and then I can just position these however I want. You can drag the windows by holding on this top portion of the window and then yeah, you can just drag it to wherever you want it to be. Obviously I'm using a mouse right now, but you can do this. This works great for touch controls as well. You just use your finger to drag these wherever you want them on your screen. Something else that they did change, which I'm really glad also, is that we now actually have a cursor on iPad. Previously it was just this little circle, but now it's like an arrow, so like an actual cursor. Um, so this is really, really nice. Now, as far as I've heard, you can have eight apps open at once in this multitasking view. If you wanna add apps that maybe isn't just in your dock, then what you can do is you can just swipe up and then it will take you to your home screen. So you can either open apps from here or maybe just from your app library here so you can access all of your apps and see which ones you want to add so i'm just going to go ahead and open up good notes again opens up in full screen i can just drag it to the size that i want now we have three apps open at once here in our windowed mode now of course this is very familiar to if you've ever used a macbook it works the exact same. So you will see all the windows that we have here have these familiar spotlight controls here in the top left of each window. So these you can use to close an app, to minimize an app or to expand an app to full screen. And when you hold down on the expand option, you will see the option for more tiling. So this is just to quickly move a window to a certain part of your screen it just makes it a lot easier so if i click on this one it's gonna move my notion window here to the left hand side of my screen and, and kind of like a split screen view and i can do that for maybe like the files app as well hold down and then move it to the right hand side so that just makes it really easy to resize your windows quickly if you've used the tiling option maybe you have like four apps open at once or three apps open you can easily just resize the windows by using this little toggle here and then just dragging that to get the apps to the right sizes that you want also if you want to access those tiling options using touch controls you just hold down on the green option until the tiling options appear and then you can switch to all the different modes by the way, I'm using my 11 inch iPad Pro and I don't have any issues with the multitasking where I feel like it's too small or anything. I still think this is a great size to do some multitasking in. Maybe if you're going to be doing a lot of handwriting where you need a bit more space for your palm to be on the screen, that could be a bit more uncomfortable when it comes to multitasking. But overall, the 11 inch size is still great. You can use this on the iPad mini even if you want. That might just be a little bit small, but it is an option on the iPad mini as well. Now I have this group of apps open, but I can just swipe up once. And then of course we have our main home screen where I can add 
add apps to this group that I want or if I want to see all the apps that are open in the background the full screen apps I can open up the expose and here you will see it shows me my group of apps that is open and they're together grouped here but then I can also see all the other apps that I have open on my iPad so I can easily view all of that right from the expose window here and also if I just want to close a group of apps and maybe start a new group then you can just swipe up from the bottom and then just swipe up again until you don't see the apps on the sides anymore so now when I go into my expose you will see that those apps are now just here grouped with all the regular apps they're no longer their own separate group so now when I open up notion it's still going to be the right size that I had it previously but it's not going to be grouped with those other two apps that I also had open. So that is how you manage your windows and your open apps. You can of course also just use these controls that we have in the top left. So the yellow option, which is minimize, will just minimize the app. So when I open up the expose, then you will still see the Notion app is open here and I can just open it up again. And then when you click on the red cross, it's gonna actually close the app, meaning that it's not still gonna be in this expose section so that is the difference between those two options there are also a few flick gestures that you can use with this multitasking that will just make resizing windows and closing windows and all that really easy so for instance i already covered that when you swipe up twice it's gonna close your apps but we also have flick gestures so for instance if i flick this to the bottom of my screen it's gonna minimize the app so just flick and then it minimizes the app and you can just find it again in your expose section here to make an app full screen you can simply just flick it to the top and then it will make it full screen or you can also just double tap the top of the, your window so double tap and that will also turn it into a full screen window and then also to quickly move apps into like a split screen view you can just flick them to either side of the screen so i'm going to flick this one to this side and that side and now we have kind of like a split screen going on and again i can easily resize them using this little toggle that we have here in between so those are just really nice to familiarize yourself with if you're gonna be using this a lot and you just want quick ways to full screen an app or just get it to one side of your screen. These are all really helpful. Also something that's new with all these multitasking features and windowed modes and all that is that we now have a menu bar, which is very similar to what we have on Mac. So when I bring my cursor to the top of my window, you will see the menu bar appear. If you're using touch gestures, just a slight little drag down on your screen will open up that menu. If you actually wanna to go to your notification center, not your menu bar, then you can just swipe down and swipe down again, and then it will take you to your notification center, or you can just go and drag down from the left-hand side. But yeah, the menu bar is nice in certain apps. This is really gonna be dependent on each app, whether it's actually useful, since developers need to take advantage of this. Obviously, most of the Apple apps do have a few features that could be nice with this. So mostly we have file, edit, view, window, and help. And like I said, for each app, these options are gonna be different. Um, so for instance, I'm gonna go to the files app and this menu bar is gonna be really helpful here. So you can go to file, you can create like a new folder from here. Here's options for like ejecting hard drives, all that right from the menu bar. In the view section, you can choose how you have your view for your file. So I can go as column and then it quickly changes. So this is gonna be really helpful for Apple apps at the moment. I think like for instance, notes will also be really helpful helpful for this. In the notes app, when I bring up the menu, you will see here again, we have file and edit, but we also have format here. So you can play around with titles and headings, subheadings, and use all of those right from the menu bar. Um, so this is going to be really helpful for apps like this. And I think if you have the magic keyboard paired with your iPad, this can also be really nice to be able to quickly navigate to these menus and these little options. But I'm really excited to see how other apps incorporate the menu bar into their workflow and just to make it easier for users to access certain settings i think the menu bar is going to be really helpful for that so that's everything i wanted to share with you about multitasking on ios 26. i hope you found this video helpful and that you can now use the multitasking feature on ipad os 26 to its full extent thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you and i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.